All set to go. And they're off for this eagerly awaited Qatar Nassau stakes. Uh, Blue Rose Sen on the inside running rail preceded by above the curve at what looks to be a fairly steady pace through the first furlong. Al Husson now goes second from Blue Rose Sen. Then Carnarfon, followed by Never Ending Story, and Holly Doyle has dropped out Nashua in last place in these very early stages and will be a good seven or eight lengths behind the leader, which is above the curve in the hands of Ryan Moore. Blue Rose Sen and Al Husson racing almost together, then never-ending story in the pink jacket, the inside of Carnarfon, and two and a half, three lengths back to Nashua. Racing up the hill and on towards the final six and a half furlongs, and above the curve leads the way. Al Husson is a close second, and then Blue Rose sent round the inside, Carnarfon, and they're followed by never-ending story, and Nashua is still the back marker about to turn right-handed at the highest point on the race course and then the race will really begin in earnest running on down the hill towards the home straight and above the curve who's had a pretty soft lead here from Al Husson in second Blue Rose Sen in behind in third on the inside Kanaf and then never-ending story and Nashua about to turn round the final little right-hander and here's where it's about to unfold and it's above the curve by a length to Al Houston now getting closer Blue Rose Sen on the inside as they race towards the cutaway Carnarfon and then never ending story and Nash War is still at the back of the field Blue Rose Sen went for the gap up the rail but the door was closed by Ryan Moore on above the curve and it's above the curve and Al Houston Blue Rose Sen has got to get out of trouble over there from never ending story and then Carnarfon and here comes Holly, Holly's coming down the outside on Nashua and Nashua really picking up and Blue Rose Sen is imprisoned on the inside as they race down to the final furlong above the curve Al Husson Nashua storming down the outside needs to find a little bit more then Blue Rose Sen they race into the closing stages Al Husson from Nashua and Blue Rose Sen and it's Al Husson further group one glory for Shadwell and Jim Crowley Al Husson has won the Nassau from above the curve, Blue Rose Sen looking unlucky. Nashua, Nashua never quite reeling them back. Well, it's mostly been a very, very good week for Jim Crowley. He's won the King George with Hookham. He's now, of course, won the Nassau with El Husson. Um, tremendous performance from her. But she had the beating of Nashua before, and you knew she was going to like the ground. Yes, look, she's, as you saw, she's not a big filly, but she's all heart. She tries so hard. Um, I was very fortunate that how the race panned out. Um, we had a kind draw and I, when Ryan went on to make the running, you know, it was the obvious thing to do was just sit second and obviously the French believe it was in a little bit of a pocket on the inside. So um, I had to be a little bit careful that I knew Nashua was gonna come at some point. Mm. Um, so he kicked on two out and like she just stuck her neck down and really battled and really wanted it. And it was, um, it was great, you know, it was, it was, she's improved. Roger's done a fantastic job with her. And uh, like I say, she's just kept on improving all through the season. Her progress is sharp, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's rapid. I mean, uh, she won a listed race up at Air, and then she obviously won a group three, the hoppings, and she did well that day, obviously. Uh, but she, like I said, coming here today, she's well-balanced filly, and it was um, on the figures she still had to step up, and she's, she's done so. And she's managed in a, what seemed from the outside to be a steadily run affair, was it, from where you were sitting? It was. It, it, it was a steady tactical affair, and look, she was in the right place. But, um, yeah, it, you know, she, nonetheless, she still had to kick on two down mm. and, and, and fend them off, which she did. So, um, yeah, it was nice. I suppose I'm wondering whether she might get further. Uh, possibility. Um, we've never really thought about it. I mean, she, she's, she's not a big, robust really, but she's a sharp, handy filling. She's one off a slow gallop there, but... Certainly something we, we could all talk about. Well, I'm going to start, think, start thinking about her differently after seeing her quickly go, quickly go off a steady pace. Um, I saw you watching the replay. Were you inevitably, in the context of these days, just watching to see how many times you'd actually used your whip? Yeah, obviously I was. And, but even pulling up then, there's always an element of doubt in your head. I didn't go past the line and gone, I've gone six. You know, it's a rule... It's a, it's a difficult one because I'm promising our jockeys it's, it's not easy. And we're not going out there thinking, counting. You're worried about tactics, where you are in a race and things like that. And it's not as easy as some people might think it is at home. Um, I wish it was. 
I don't, I don't want to bring this interview down with that, but one more question about that. If, if it's not in your head, the disqualification, I mean, you were only one away from it in the King George, weren't you? Obviously, yeah. Look, as I said, I wasn't aware of that. I mean, you, you get people thinking, oh, he deliberately did it, and it's just absurd, really. It's not something you'd do, but, uh, you know, anyway, it's done now. Move on, and uh, it's nice to have a day in the sun today. Presumably, you just ask everybody to sit down and talk. I think they have to. I mean, look, I personally think my penalty is very stiff. Um, it is what it is. Uh, does it warrant what I'm going to miss? I don't know, but listen, I can't change it. It's done. Two group ones in a week, though. <laughs> Let's focus on the positive. Exactly. Many, many congratulations, Jim. Well done. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.